السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم آمين My dear children, how are you all doing today? We hope that you all are in the best state of iman and health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all protected and grant you all the goodness of both worlds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you all to learn and understand the Qur'an and to follow the Qur'an in your lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you all to walk on the path of guidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you all the best of the Qayyajariya for your parents. Allahumma ameen. So dear children, our today's ayah is ayah number 71 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Let us first look into the word to a translation of this ayah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قال he said إنه indeed he يقول he says إنها indeed it بقرة is a cow لا not ذلول trained تثير to plow الأرض the earth ولا and not تسقل water الحرث the field مسلمة sound لا no شية blemish فيها in it قالوا they said الآن now جئت you have come بالحق with the truth فَذَبَحُوهَا So they slaughtered it. وَمَا and not كَادُوا They were near. يَفْعَلُونَ To doing it. Let us look into the running translation of the saya. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قال إنه يقول إنها بقرة لا ذلول تثير الأرض ولا تسقي الحرف مسلمة لا شيئة فيها قال الآن جئت بالحق فذبحوها وما كادوا يفعلون he, Musa alayhi salam said, Verily, he, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A cow not trained to till the soil or water the fields, sound and without blemish. They said, Now have you brought the truth? Then they offered her in sacrifice, but not with goodwill. In this ayah, the answer to the question asked in the previous ayah is being given. In ayah 70, the children of Israel asked, They asked Prophet Musa السلام, to pray on their behalf to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it clear to them as to how the cow should look like. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the children of Israel to slaughter the cow, they were making different kinds of excuses. They did not want to slaughter the cow because they kind of believed that the cow was holy and this belief got into them through Egyptians, meaning Egyptians believed that the cow is a holy animal. The Egyptians also used to worship the cows. So, Therefore, the Bani Israel also had this respect and love for the cows. In this ayah, that is ayah 71, Prophet Musa alayhi salam is giving the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Bani Israel. Qala, the Prophet Musa alayhi salam said, Innahu yaqulu. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ لَا ذَلُولٌ تُثِيرُ الْأَرْضُ وَلَا تَسْقِ الْحَرْثِ 
a cow not trained to till the soil or water the fields. So what does this mean? This means that they are supposed to slaughter a cow which keeps sitting and it is not involved in any work and it is not used for any kind of work. Sound and without blemish. This meant that they should slaughter a cow which has no defect in it and it is healthy and without any weakness. And the color of the cow should be bright yellow. They said, Now you have brought the truth. Ben Israel then said that now they have been told the correct information and now that they are clear as to how the cow should look like, they offered her in sacrifice, meaning they offered a cow in sacrifice, but not with good will. They slaughtered the cow, but in reality, they did not want it to do it. So dear children, what do we understand from this ayah? Bani Israel, they did not have strong iman in their hearts. They did not believe in oneness of Allah. In their hearts, they had the love for the cow. Therefore, the command of slaughtering the cow became a very big test for them. They tried their best to avoid obeying the command of Allah and not slaughter the cow. They questioned a lot and because of their questioning, things kept getting difficult for them. Therefore, it became very difficult for Bani Israel to find a cow that is neither old nor too young, a cow that doesn't work on the field, a cow that is bright yellow in color and should be without any fault or flaw. So what is a lesson for us in here? Whenever a command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to us, we should obey it without any further questioning. For example, when it is the time for salah, don't keep postponing it, thinking that you still have time. No, don't do that. Immediately, stand up, make wudu and offer the prayer. Delaying it might make it more difficult for you to perform the prayer. Let me give you another example. For those of you who are 7 years old, 7, 8, 9, if you postpone your prayer, if you miss your prayer thinking that you are too young to perform it, then when we are 10, by the time we are 10 years old, Shaitan makes it look more difficult for us to offer prayers. So don't let Shaitan play with our minds. Start offering prayers from young age. What else can we think of? Yes, we should not ask a lot of questions on the things where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has laid clear commands. Why? Because if we indulge ourselves in asking too many questions, then it becomes very difficult to act upon those commands. Shaitan tricks us and by this way he misguides us. He makes the easiest thing seem very difficult, like a huge task. Yeah? So what is that one main lesson we learned now? Yes, not asking too much questions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like too much questioning. When the command to perform hajj was revealed, was brought down to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one of his companion asked, tries if they have to perform hajj every year. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stayed quiet on asking 
the fourth time, Prophet وسلم, replied that if I say yes, then you will put yourself in immense difficulty. So dear children, whenever we know any command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should obey it immediately. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the best opportunity to do the best. Allahumma ameen. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.